Chris Saper is a portrait artist, teacher, and author of several skin tone and portrait books and DVDs. A faculty member of the Portrait Society of America, Chris has participated in many classes, panel discussions, critiques, and portfolio reviews, and has developed a solid insight on how to help artists successfully see and paint skin tones. You can find out more about her classes and artwork at chrissaper.com. In this video workshop, Chris paints from six models in the studio, helping you create color recipes for each skin tone in both light and shadow so that you can create successful portraits of your own. like that that warm almost an orangey color I'd, I'd like to mix up a little bit to represent what that is to me um, and that's where I might pull that Indian yellow in a little bit mix it with a bit of flake white and then maybe a little transparent earth red to get that real orangey color and that would be a color that I would maybe use right at the very end just to, just to have that highlight kissed there a bit. And that will just remind me of what that color was. The hair in shadow will follow the same sequence as the skin color in shadow in that it's darker, it's less saturated, and it's cooler. And to that end, I think I'll start with some raw sienna and see how that looks. To me, it's exactly the right hue. It's just not dark enough. And to darken it, I'll use the raw umber. Let's see how that looks. You look over that way, Humphrey, a little bit. Now that color looks good to me. And so I'll use this color to represent the hair and shadow. Now it's skin tone and shadow. This is nice, nicely, um, not illuminated, but shadowed in that it's very easy for me to see how cool the colors are um, in the shadow, knowing that there's still some warm notes that are happening because of this shawl that's reflecting in. So I'd like to mix up a skin color to approximate this cheek right here as it moves away from the front of the face. And I can start with that skin color in light and then I want to modify it. I think by starting with a little raw umber because I see some cool notes under the cheekbone. And let me take a look here and see. Sometimes that light hits the palette knife in a way and can make it hard to make that judgment. I would like it a little bit darker and a little bit greener. <coughs> I haven't had occasion to mix my green yet today, but I'll show you what happens when you mix the, the cad cadmium yellow medium and the black. And it makes a really nice kind of a desaturated yellowish green and you can push that to a bluish green or even yellower by the proportions that you add but the yellow and the black makes a green because of that blue cast that exists in the ivory black. So I'd like to take some of that and mix it into this darker skin tone and see what happens. I 
to get paint on your hair. <laughs> You'll never talk to me again. <laughs> A little bit more red, and I want it to be a dark red, so I'll put some Caput Mortum in there, which is both dark and cool. And that I feel works for this back part of the face here. Um, as I move towards the light, I would make that progressively lighter and much redder. And even regardless of the color of the light source, you'll have warm and cool notes in both light and shadow. Okay, and let me take a look at your eye color, if you'll look at me, please. Erica's eyes are a deep, brown. They're a little darker around the outer ring of the iris and there's a lot of warm transparent earth red in the iris. Um, and I know from experience that that transparent earth red and even some cadmium like this, once it's laid over a darker iris color, for example, if it's laid over this color, um, it will have that wonderful, beautiful warmth that I can see there. You can sort of get the idea of the part of the iris that is um, lit the most, and that is always the section of the iris directly across from the highlight in the eye. So from this angle, uh, if you look straight ahead, I can see the highlights hitting at about 9.30 or 10 o'clock, and the lightest and brightest color of the iris is directly across at about 3.30 to 4 o'clock.